Oh. This is really interesting doing this at 60 mile per hour winds. That's a, that's a new experience. Hi everybody, it's Franny, and this is day two of getting our 3.2 Carrera engine back in the car. So in the last episode, over here, we got the transmission back on and made it to the engine here with the help of our helper, Marcel. You remember him from the Lambo videos. At any rate, so the three of us, Heidi is behind the camera, are going to get this engine back in today. That's our goal. Now, let me walk you through some absolute crazy over here. We need to lift the back of the car up quite a ways because these engines scoot in from underneath so this is our plan take a look at this this is a little strange now these are sitting in the standard jack points of the car here these have a long steel bit that goes into the car so this is an actual hard point lift point on the car this is 5,000 pound chain and these these shackles are I think they're like 3,000 pound shackles the car itself should weigh probably about, I'm thinking about 2,000 pounds without the engine in it. So I think we're good. We've got it up over the top of the lift here. And the plan is to raise the lift all the way up to the top and get our rear end of our car up as high as possible. We're hoping that's going to be enough to scoot the engine underneath. And if not, it'll still provide a very stable platform to get it just a little bit higher, get the engine under, and then we can lower the car back down a bit. This is gonna be kind of crazy. Let's go ahead and raise this lift and see how it goes. Marcel's spotting on the other side. I'm over here. Theory, this should work. Yep. <laughs> I heard a little noise here, but I think that's okay. I think everything's okay. What do you say over there, Marcel? Look all right? How are we doing? Still looking good? Yeah, yeah. All right, we almost have the back wheels off the ground. We're watching the windshield as well. That looks good. Everything looking good? Yeah. yeah. All right. Move up a little bit more. We've got quite a ways to go. Wow, the back end is up plenty high enough at this point. Is it we, really? We can totally get the engine underneath there. Wow. Oh yeah, no problem. Now of course the car is swinging back and forth a little bit. We sort of expected that. That's a little weird. And especially with all the wind, man. Well, our goal today is literally just to get the engine in the car. We're not gonna be hooking bits up and it's gonna be a little later episode before we get the engine going. But we only have four mounting points for the engine. It's kind of interesting. These two here, on the transmission crossbar here and then on the front well on the back of the engine excuse me are this bar here there'll be bolts that go down from the top here as well and then let me show you what it looks like in the car before we get too much further inside the engine bay we have an engine mount here one on both sides and then for our transmission that's going to be underneath here on the crossbar there you see a mount there and you see a mount over there so that's the four points. That's all we have to do. So it seems pretty simple and pretty straightforward, but we'll see how it goes. All right, Marcel, <laughs> this is gonna be crazy. The idea is we're just gonna wheel this guy underneath the car. We're gonna move it around, get it centered, and get it just where it needs to be, and then start lowering the car down more and more. And then we'll keep moving the engine around, making sure everything is all lined up. I think in the end, we're gonna end up with the wheels back on the ground and we'll use the lift here and probably a jack on the transmission to get that thing up where it needs to be be and up in the car. Now we have to be very careful. This is the shift rod here out of the transmission and that needs to sit inside the tunnel about almost that far. What we've got to do is lift the engine and transmission all up at an angle like this and then get it in that hole and then push it back a little bit. That's going to be the trick. That's going to be the difficult bit. We don't want to bash any of this. We have to just be very careful about it. Look at that, just clearing perfectly, huh? Wow, that's really... It's a little tight, but it's yeah, okay. it's good. That's actually not that far off. All right, well, let's take a look under here and see where we are. Here's our transmission mount. 
that's where it goes up on the car. So we're pretty darn close. You just need to go back just a bit, it looks like. Not too bad. I don't know. How's it look on your side, Marcel? Yeah, everything looks good over here. Looks good over there? All right, let's take a look from the top. This guy here has to go up to the engine mount here. So we need to go back. It looks like just a bit, not too much. But I think we look pretty close. All right, well, at this point, I think we have the engine fairly lined up. We're, what we're gonna start is our sort of inching down process, move, inch down, move, inch down. And as Marcel pointed out, because this thing's sitting on chains, it might be easier in, if, for the very final last little bit to actually yeah. move the car instead of the engine. It sounds funny, but the lift is a little difficult to slide around, but the car, easy enough. So Marcel, why don't we have you looking around and I don't know where it would be best, maybe just even looking inside here. Okay. And I'm gonna yeah. lower it down slowly. And the transmission looks like it needs to come just a bit to the right there, maybe? There we go. There, there like that-ish, yeah. right? It looks like the engine's gonna need to go back just a, just ever so slightly. Can you pull it back, Marcel, just a, yeah. Okay. That's good. I think that's pretty close. Are you set? I'm set. Okay, here we go. How's that? It's good, it's real good. Um, I think we look pretty good. Marcel can handle the left and right. And then I think the engine looks pretty good at this point, as far as fore aft. Here we go, we'll lower down a little bit more. How's that? We're looking good. Can it come down a little bit more, do you think? Yes, we what can. What do you think? Come down, oh yeah, we got a little ways to go, huh? Wheels are almost on the ground at this point. Where's that shift rod, Franny? Okay. Yep, let's stop and take a look. Here's our shift rod here, and this is the opening of the tunnel. We're going to have to move the engine back a little bit and rotate it up to get this guy into the hole that's up here. And there we go. So now we're raising the transmission up a little bit. The whole engine's gonna be pivoting backwards a little bit. Marcel, at this point, can you pull the engine backwards literally about, oh, I don't know, maybe an inch and a half at the most? Are you gonna hit the fan? It's not so much the fan. We, we, we've got the stabilizer okay. here that's, uh, that's, that's up against the rubber seal. Oh, okay, well, let me take a look real quick like bunny. Right here. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I think our best bet's going to be to raise it back up just a smidge so you can get this thing down a little bit. Yeah. And then I'll just continue to raise the front of the engine. All right, well, we'll go up just a smidgen. Maybe that is enough. How does that look clearing that? So the stabilizer is clear of the seal. Of awesome, the awesome. Do you think we can go back now, just about an inch or so? We, we do, and, and we won't run into any pulley related issues. Okay, how's the rest this of it look? Too. Can you move straight back, do you think? Just, yeah, there we go. Let me get underneath and I'll see how far we need to go to clear that. Oh gosh, I think we're already there, let's see. There's our shift rod. Look at that, just, just kissing the edge of the tunnel there. I'm gonna raise it up a little bit more. Oh, see, the engine's already moved forward a tad. Perfect. Yeah, I think that's going to be fine. Marcel, can you push the engine forward, as in forward in the car? There we go, that's looking good. That's looking pretty good. Let's say we're still a little low on the transmission. We could go up a smidge. There we go. All right, well, I think at this point, we need to move to the front a bit. We've got about a, uh, maybe two inches to go and we'll be lined up. Yeah, that's looking good. That's looking pretty good. Okay, all right. Believe it or not, I believe this transmission mount on this side is even lined up. We can lower the car down slightly to get it to seat on it. How are we doing around here? Let's take a look. Things look really good back here. 
good. From a clearance and an alignment standpoint. We've got this guy here, but it'll it'll clear as we pull the as we lift the engine up because right now it's forward high, which is what it needs to be. Right. And then we'll use the jack to raise it up. We can lower the car down a little bit. I've got maybe a half inch before the mounts meet. Now I'm gonna lower the car just the smidgen. All right, I'm just gonna lower it down just. Let me double check and see where we are. Yeah, see we're pretty much sitting right on top of it. Let me see if I can get a bolt. In fact, I forgot about the washer, so we might have to, we might have to scooch it back up again just to get the washer on the top of this. Yep, just a little bit. Okay. Might be able to lower the transmission. It's a little high actually, so. Yep, coming down, coming down, super duper slowly. I'm watching the shaft in the tunnel. I want it to be right dead in the center. As the jack's lowering the transmission, just the slightest little bit here. We're almost there. All right, we're getting so close. I'm gonna lock that off again. We need our washer that goes up here. All right, I'm gonna lower the car down just a smidgen. You okay back there? Yeah. All right, here we go. Just, just, just a hair. I think that's about enough. Right there. Oh, that actually feels like it might be going in. <laughs> yeah, look at that. It's looking pretty good. That looks pretty good. I got that far enough. I know it's not cross-threading. Mm -hmm. All right, that's a lot of threads in. I'm feeling good about that. Let's move over to the other side. That's it going up. Wow, it's so close. I just, I can't quite get that. Almost, huh? I think at this point I'm going to end up, I'm going to lower the car a little bit actually. It's just an angle issue is all it is. It's lined up, it just is an angle issue. There. So I'm hoping it's sitting on the mount. Yeah, it is a little more. Oh, boy, you're a thing. Uh, I think that wants to cross thread still. All right, Marcel, can you raise the engine a bit more? Are you running into any issues raising the engine? Any problems back there? No, no, we've still got some room. Okay, that's great. Well, go ahead and do that. All right, hold there for a sec. Let's see where we are. Gosh, it just... Well, I wonder if... Let me lower this just a hair. Maybe it's stuck on the washer. Any better? I think it's actually going in. Yep, it is. Yay. Okay. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna sort of seat this guy. There we go, just like that. And we've got the transmission mounted. Woohoo! Okay. At this point, we have both transmission mounts in. So they're up and I've cinched them in. So they're not, they're not tight or torqued at this point, but they're at, at least it's all the way up. The only thing left is going to be to pivot the engine up and get it into its mounts in the back here. So that's our next step. Here's where we stand. This is our top left engine mount there and you can see the arm below it we need to raise the engine up and line this whole bit up and get a bolt through the top of our engine mount down into the yoke there so that's that's our next step all right marcel why don't you uh kind of spot things i'm going to go ahead and just gently lift this thing up in theory we should be very very close right sure thing that look good? I think so. And is there anything around the edge that we've missed that we're 
like going to crimp or anything. That's the no, other thing I need to know. Lines. Yeah, good point, Heidi. Well, they look fine. This line looks good. This looks good. The other hoses, ouch. The other hoses on the side. Way up front. Yeah, they look good. All those look good. I don't see anything else. This little guy's there where it should be. Our wiring harness is still tucked away back here. Yes. I. You know what I'm thinking? We need to lower the car down too, huh? So right. yeah. let's lower the car down the rest of the way. All right, here we go. I'm going to lower it down. It probably won't go down much more. In fact, that's it. It is down. That's it. No. <laughs> All right, here we go. Up's a daisy. And since we're we're attached in the front. We're literally just pivoting. Don't you, so, but you don't need to attach it back yet? We do, and we will. But you never want to lift the engine with the bolts. We might have to shift things ever so slightly, but I think we're pretty darn close. In fact, now's a good time to get our lower washers on, if we can. And... Okay, yeah, our bar's off a little bit. Which is interesting. Yeah, that's off a little bit. That's kind of what I wanted to see. All right, we need to pivot the engine this way a little bit, so. Holy crap. Ugh. <laughs> and that was just the start of this weather. Any rate, let's get back to the car. I'm having trouble getting the engine lined up in the back. I need to drop those big bolts in through the engine mounts in the car down into that yoke. And they're just not quite lining up. So what I was going to do was go underneath and loosen up the bolts on the transmission mount a little bit. Hopefully giving me a little more play so I can move the engine, rock it back and forth a little bit, and finally get those rear engine mounts to line up. God, I got a mouthful of sand. Well, we've had quite the weather move in. We have 50 to 60 mile per hour winds. I think it's gusting even higher than that. There's nothing we can do at this point because the engine isn't in the car and the car's halfway out of the garage. It's really kind of a strange thing. Any rate, all right, in the back here, I've got my rear engine bolts sitting in the yoke down there. We're all set to just raise the engine up and we can tighten up these bolts. So I'm going to raise the engine up with the jack here and start to screw in our bolts. Interesting doing this at 60 mile per hour winds. That's a that's a new experience. No, oh, it's an, it's <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> now it's important. Uh, it's important not to raise the engine with the bolts. So I have the engine pretty pushed up, and I think I'm actually lifting the car up off the ground at this point, which is great. All right, that's that one seated. All right, and that one's seated. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and torque these and the ones underneath the transmission. The torque value on these is 58 foot-pounds. <laughs> this is getting comical. This is just stupid. I, I don't know, I have to put my ear here so I can hear the torque wrench. There you go, hey, hey, there you go, you need to get that. Yeah. <laughs> There we go, 58. We'll do this one. There we, are. there we are, 58. Now let me get underneath the car here and do the ones under the transmission. Heidi? Oh. <laughs> All 
There we go, that's one. Get the other side. The last thing we needed to do was get all the cars back in the garage, starting with Shamu. But it was actually a lot harder than we thought until our knight in shining armor showed up. And then with the help of the Amazon guy, we managed to get the car back up on the lift. It's directly behind their house. Their house is very much in danger right now. So I was on a 911 call after I saw the fire. And we thought it might have been fog, actually, because if you remember from the earlier images, the weather just changed so quickly. And we were eating lunch, and we saw this coming over the top of the house. And you can see how the color changed this there, so. It's crazy right now. Mm -hmm. This is utterly crazy. You can really smell the smoke at this point, and that was the other thing. When we were eating lunch, we something just didn't smell right. Yeah, it was really bad. A lot of the neighbors said that their houses were just filled with smoke. Oh, that's just really not good. <laughs> no, it wasn't good. And you can see it's moving closer. Now the wind has changed. Right. This is where it actually gets into our neighborhood. And I didn't see any of this because I was getting the cats ready to be evacuated. Right, so they evacuated our street, huh? Right. Right. Because I was out here working on the fire and Heidi was back at the house. And I, she'd call me now and then, but we were out with shovels and rakes just trying to stamp this thing down. So Franny has been out fighting fires after she just finished putting the engine in the car today. So here, let me show you some really scary stuff. God. This is later on that day. came through in waves yeah and it would just flare up again and it jumped right across this thing you know I don't even know how but it did and then this fire's just, pretty this talented whole that thing way took maybe 20 seconds Wow so scary mm -hmm. look at that jump too oh my god how close that is to the houses and the fences Look at how so, close that is. This is the house that's directly across the street from our house. Oh, you gotta see this. It almost caught the fire truck. So I'm saying it almost caught the fire truck on fire. Yeah. Wow, right so, there. They weren't by their fire truck, right? <laughs> so it jumped across here, obviously, right? But it also jumped across over there. Wow. Wow, crazy. <laughs> And so by this time, the wind had really calmed down quite a bit. God, this is terrible. So they asked if there was houses in danger, and I said, uh, yeah. That was the 911 call I was referring to. The, the very corner, see it's all burned away at the base, right where those guys are walking? Oh, their fence is on fire. So the fire was freaking right there. It was in their backyard. Wow. Literally in their backyard, right on that corner. And it, and it burned their trampoline as well. It was just a very scary day. There's neighbors out there trying to water down areas to keep them from catching on fire. And there's the fire truck. And that fire got awfully close. Wow. And we just, we assisted the firemen as best we could. And they stayed around for the whole evening. And they were back out the next day as well. 
Yeah, Franny and I were in constant contact with each other. So she was fighting the fire, and she'd pick up if I called her or texted her. But I was getting the cats ready. They were going door to door asking people to leave their homes. And I actually put a video out on our cat channel because I didn't feel completely prepared after all of this. It can happen to anybody. Sure can. Boy, it was quite a day.